Hey, what's happening, guys? Steven Davidson here in a shave video. I've already prepped my face with the uh, Vanuave pre shave oil. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm going to go with my Omega synthetic bore. I'm going to trim the mustache area with my usual suspect, the twig with a permanent shop blade. I'm going to go with the leaf third and final shave on the Astra Greens. And the star of the party, one of my personal favorites, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, Tad. And I'm going to fish it off with a mentholated aftershave jelly matching aftershave jelly this stuff here is incredible love it all right let's pour off the bloom water load it up hope everybody's having a good morning this morning that's plenty get the proto letter off there it don't take much of PAA soaps. It really don't. Just look at it when it lathers itself. Just about. Okay. Mm. Man, I love the smell of this. The smell of the scent on this soap. If you like the original canned barbersol shave foam, this is right up your alley in the so Not only is it stouter and stronger, it lasts longer. And it's in the artisan form of a soap. It ain't drying out like the original barber soap was. And look at that lather. All I did was two swirls. I had to call the repair service, see what was going on. There was over an hour and a half late. Already nobody called and so I called them and then come to find out she had forgotten to call me To say they have rescheduled it to Wednesday 10 o'clock Or tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning, which is fine and dandy Mm-mm-mm And look at that change. Look at that ladder. Mm -mm. As I was saying, the uh, scent on this shave soap is uh, canned shave foam on steroids. Only it's not the current version, it's like the 1970s and 80s version. Which is a good thing. And it's much, much, much stronger. And you guys know the story behind the, the name and the label. So, but you're not going to beat it. Gosh, I love the scent on this. How can you not? Mm. All right, let's heat up the twig sculptor. We hit the old mustache area. There we go. 
Still trying to decide which blade I want to try next, but I'm thinking it's going to be the Voskhods. We'll set and see. Alright, third shave. After green. Very comfortable. Very nice. Still cutting. For the most part. Oh, that noise you hear if my microphone picks it up is my shower dripping. That's why they're coming to fix it. And turn it on and off and I'll stop it for now, but not really. All you have to do is jump in there and shower again and then that's all she wrote and you're back to where you started. So they're going to have to come out and fix it. And that's a nice first pass. And about two days worth of beer growth, so we're good. Quick rinse. See what happens after this second pass, but I have a feeling I might be switching it out sooner rather than later because it left quite a bit behind. Definitely last shave on this blade. So that means that the Gillette 7 o'clock blacks are still on top. Got a little bit of a dusting of snow here last night. Not a whole lot. As they did say it was going to cool off, which it did. So that's a good thing. Takes care of the mustache area. Money pass. There we go. 
go. Yep, still pretty patchy. Definitely need a third pass. Otherwise, pretty slick. But it's definitely the last shoe on that blade and still didn't on top the Gillette 7 o'clock blacks. Still pretty patchy, too. There, there. There, there, yeah. Half pass wouldn't be enough. So, we do a full pass instead. third and final pass, or at least I hope it is.
Just kid. Oh, she's kicking in this morning. Alright, it should do it. Let's rinse off. I want to rinse. Chin's held up pretty good where I got myself with the Vintage DE89, or Vintage DE89, now she, Vintage Gillette Slim. I've had that DE89 on my mind for weeks now, but that's okay. I don't intend to get it now that I got the leaf. You know me like old times, but it'll still be hard on my old skin too. And that is perfect. Alright. Now for cold water rinse. Cold water, it's always feels good. Oh, man, that feels good. recap I started off with the uh, vanulate pre-shave oil off camera I went with my Omega synthetic bore I trimmed the mustache area with a leaf or the twig rather with a perma sharp blade in there I went with a leaf with a third and final shave of the Astra Greens and the star of the party was Phoenix Artist Accoutrement's cat. And as soon as I do some alum, I'm going to finish it off with the uh, matching aftershave jelly. So let me get my alum here a little bit. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous shave. Let's see what we got here. Almost no sting except the mustache part where I got myself a little weeper there. But there ain't no sting. Let that dry off a bit and rinse out my brush. All right.
All right, cold water rinse. Get out, squeaky clean. All right, now a uh, treat. Matching aftershave jelly. Here's what it looks like, folks. Not quite a bomb, but it ain't quite a aftershave either. It's kind of like their love child, and that's got a little bit bent on it. It's incredible. Very nice. All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care. God bless. See you on the next shave. Later.